Hello my friends, this is Jay Dillon Madhav, FCO, Digital Marketing Guru. Let me talk to you about a client of mine, uh, which is Aloft, Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, <clears throat> interestingly enough, I have made, uh, well, I probably go to Guadalajara four times a year now. In fact, I'm going to redo a version of this video in Spanish so it can potentially help uh, those that see it down there as well but anyways so um, I started doing SEO in the hotel industry in uh, 2009 my clients were I mean you name it I had clients Hilton Sheraton Holiday Inn uh, <clears throat> um, and so on and so forth even um, actually speaking of Mexico even a lot of resorts in Cancun and Cabo San Lucas and so on and so so forth my job was to get them um, now here's where it gets interesting <clears throat> here's where it gets interesting their business is there their, their customers don't live there their customers come from other parts of the US Canada or Europe to visit there so I don't advertise locally I have to advertise in the places and we have data that shows where their customers predominantly come from, travel from, and reside in. And we market there, okay, as a destination option for hotels. And I've had great success with Aloft and a tremendous relationship with them. And the added um, perk of uh, when I visit, uh, being able to meet uh, with the hotel manager and discuss their marketing needs and also I get a free stay so um, it's a kind of a win-win all the way all the way around in a city that I love to visit and enjoy anyways but the point I want to make here is is <clears throat> you don't have to I mean you have to know where your customers are and if you're a destination I'll use another example. They're not a client, but I'll use them for the sake of uh, making the point. Let's say Disneyland. Do you think that people that live in Anaheim, California go and visit Disneyland? No, they don't. People that live everywhere else in the continental United States and a lot of places outside of the United States stay at Disneyland, go visit rather Disneyland and drag the children out. And that can be said of many other things like SeaWorld and wherever, whatever else you want to talk to that are destination, okay, uh, spots. So we have to know where do these people live, where do they reside, how do they get information on what, are th what things they should be doing in the city, what is there for things for them to do, what are the local hotels and attractions and eateries and so on and so forth because those are all my clients. I have to send them business. I won't have success with that, taking a five mile radius around their physical location and marketing there only. So you see where there's a shift now in the approach. I only mention that because if you have a business of that nature, you have to know this and consider and factor it into your marketing. If you think you're going to do local area marketing and local area marketing only and succeed, you're not understanding your customers. Where are they? How do they find you? Why do they care about you? Why would they want to see you? What else, when they visit your city, when do they do it? Why do they do it? Who Are they business travelers? Are they leisure travelers bringing their children? You have to understand all of these considerations in order to have an effective marketing plan and now execute that plan and spend those dollars effectively. If you're not doing that, you're doing like a lot of people. You're taking hard-earned um, marketing dollars from as a percentage of your gross annual receipts and you know if you're lucky it's only 50 percent you're flushing it down the drain think about that jay dylan matt thank you for listening